Hello and welcome to this episode of our series on data protection and pensions, brought to you by the pensions team at Gowling WLG. I'm Ian Chapman Curry and I've been dealing with all things data as the pensions industry gets ready to comply with the GDPR. As always, you can get more information on this and all our other pension insights at www.gowlingwlg.com forward slash pensions dash UK. In this episode, we'll be looking at what pension scheme trustees need to do so that they can understand their scheme's data. Data controllers are responsible for the processing of personal data. In order to comply with their legal duties, data controllers need to understand what personal data they hold, what they do with it and who they share it with. The key points from this episode are that trustees need to understand their scheme's data. Data controllers will only be able to comply with legal duties under the GDPR if they have a good understanding of the personal data that they control. Data mapping is simply assessing who processes what personal data and why they need to do so. Questionnaires can help with data mapping. A questionnaire or checklist can help to produce a systematic and standardised data mapping exercise. Trustees should ask themselves and third parties a range of who, what, where, why, when and how questions as part of their data mapping exercise. Trustees can only use third parties who provide sufficient guarantees. Under the GDPR, data controllers can only use third-party data processors that provide sufficient guarantees that they will implement appropriate technical and organisational measures to ensure compliance with the GDPR. Data mapping is often the first stage for trustees in assessing their third-party service providers. Decide who is responsible for doing what and set a firm deadline. Understanding your scheme's data is an essential first stage in a data protection compliance project. The responses to the questionnaire will help the trustees and their advisors with the other essential compliance work. It should therefore be project managed with a firm deadline for completion. So why is it so important for trustees to understand a pension scheme's data? In order to comply with their legal duties under GDPR, data controllers need to understand the personal data that they process. For example, data controllers are required to provide certain information to data subjects, and this is also known as providing privacy or fair use notices. As part of this information, data controllers have to set out the categories of personal data that are processed, the type of data subjects to whom the personal data relates, the data controller's legal grounds for processing the personal data, and anyone the data controller shares the personal data with. should be clear then that trustees will need to understand their scheme's data before they can effectively pass on this information to members. Do your third-party service providers and professional advisors provide sufficient guarantees? In addition, data controllers can only use data processors that provide sufficient guarantees that they will take appropriate technical and organisational measures to comply with the GDPR. Understanding the scheme's data and the role played by third parties in processing the scheme's data will be the first step for many trustees in assessing whether their third parties provide sufficient guarantees. So why is this process particularly relevant for many pension scheme trustees? Many trustees are unusual as data controllers as they do not process the personal data that they control on a day-to-day basis. Instead, many trustees rely on third parties to administer their schemes. These third parties can be third-party providers of pension scheme administration services or administration services provided by one of the scheme's employers. In addition, trustees rely on third parties for professional advice. Actuaries, lawyers and investment consultants may receive personal data from the trustee so that they can provide this advice. 
Finally, because of the nature of pensions, trustees may need to use other, more specialised third parties from time to time. Trustees will need to provide personal data to some of these third parties, for example, tracing services, independent medical advisors, and online document and meeting management providers. Providing this information is essential for the third parties to be able to carry out work for the trustee. So how can trustees get a clearer understanding of their scheme's personal data? The process of getting a clearer understanding of scheme data is being referred to by many in the pensions industry as data mapping. Although this sounds like a technical process, it is, in reality, just a methodical audit of the scheme's personal data. Depending on the circumstances, this process can be led by the trustees, the scheme's administrators, the scheme's lawyers, or another third party. In order to approach data mapping in a systematic way, many trustees are using a questionnaire or checklist and also asking the scheme's third-party service providers and professional advisors to consider and fill out the same questionnaire or checklist. There are no set questions for such questionnaires, but they can all be summarised as asking variations on standard questions. Who? Who does the scheme's personal data relate to? Who are the data subjects? Who do the trustees share the scheme's personal data with? What? What categories of personal data are processed? For pension schemes, this will include members' names, addresses, national insurance numbers and bank details, for example. What types of special category or sensitive personal data are processed? For pension schemes, this will often include members' health records obtained as part of applications for ill health early retirement. What role do third parties have in relation to the scheme's data? Are they data processors? Are they joint data controllers with the trustees? Or are they processing data as standalone data controllers? Where? Where is the scheme's personal data processed? The main consideration here is whether personal data is processed in a country that is or is not a member state of the European Union. The GDPR requires additional safeguards when personal data is transferred outside of the European Union. Why? Why is the personal data processed? This is intended to provide details for determining the trustee's legitimate interests in processing the personal data or in having the personal data processed by a third party on the trustee's behalf. When, when and for how long is the personal data processed? This is intended to help the trustees consider storage limitation and retention periods. How, how is the scheme's personal data processed? What security measures are applied to the processing and transfer of paper and electronic records? What are the main things that pension scheme trustees will have to think about in respect of data mapping? Understanding the scheme's data is an essential part of getting ready to comply with the GDPR. It will be difficult, if not impossible, for trustees to comply with other legal requirements under the GDPR if they do not know what personal data they control, why they process it and who they share it with. Trustees should think about the following key issues. Who will carry out the data mapping exercise? Trustees are usually data controllers and they are ultimately responsible for the scheme's data. Many trustees, however, do not deal with their scheme's data on a day-to-day -day basis. Trustees may therefore ask a third party, such as the scheme's administrator or legal advisors, to lead on carrying out the data mapping exercise. Whoever carries out the exercise Trustees should make sure that it is clear who is responsible for doing what and set a firm deadline. What questions will you ask yourselves and third parties? The results of your data mapping exercise will only be as good as the questions that you ask. You might find it useful to think about your legal duties under the GDPR and design your questionnaire so that the responses will help you comply with these legal duties. Who will review the completed questionnaires? What will happen once you and your third parties have actually filled in the questionnaires? How will you incorporate a third party's standard response into your review? 
Ultimately, the information gathered in a data mapping exercise will be used to help the trustee comply with specific legal duties under the GDPR. A standardised report based on the scheme's questionnaire will make it easier to take the required next steps. And finally, how will you assess whether third parties provide sufficient guarantees? Trustees will need to consider a range of evidence to determine whether their third-party service providers and professional advisors provide sufficient guarantees as required under the GDPR. Some of this evidence will come from responses to the trustees' data mapping exercise. Some of the evidence will also be standard form responses from third parties. Trustees may want to put together a pack containing evidence for each of the relevant third parties. And if that has whet your appetite for all things data protection, don't forget there is far more information available at www.gowlingwlg.com. We've made all of these episodes available to read, watch or listen to whenever you want. Please do share them with anyone who is dealing with data protection issues. Thanks for making the time to join us. I hope you can join us for another episode of Gowling WLG's Data Protection and Pension Series soon.